MS can be a debilitating disease. Our first guest was a busy doctor and mother of two when symptoms left her unable to walk or continue doing her job. Have a look. I loved being physically active in my youth. Loved riding, biking, skiing, and doing my martial arts. So it began about 40 years ago with abnormal sensations in the face. It did eventually become very electrical, very, very, very sharp. Almost 10 years later, I had dim vision in my left eye, no clear explanation. It was frustrating. I, it was clearly getting worse with my face pain. Now I had uh, visual problems. So after 20 years, my next symptom came up, and that was weakness in my left leg. I ended up seeing a neurologist and was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And that's when my pain uh, episodes are more frequent, more severe. I cannot even sit up. I'm in a zero gravity chair with my knees higher than my nose. And then I'm beginning to have trouble with brain fog. Light triggers pain, sound triggers pain, touch from your kids triggers pain. Without my kids, I'll be up here every day. No one can endure that amount of pain. After I came to terms with having uh, MS, I decided I wanted to treat my disease aggressively. They told me about uh, the paleo diet, continued to go downhill, and my face pain relentlessly worsened. The next year, I needed a wheelchair. Once I hit the wheelchair, it was very clear to me that conventional medicine was not going to stop my slide into bedridden, possibly demented life. And so I decided it was up to me. What if I redesigned my diet? to stress all these nutrients as taking a supplement form in the food. Within the first month, I could tell that my pains began to lessen. I was about three months into this, I had a, a letter to mail. I picked up that letter, I put it in my pocket, I grabbed my walking sticks, and I walked down the hallway. And my, my colleagues were like, Dr. Walls, you, you're walking. They hadn't seen me walking in four years. Then, when Jackie and I were walking around in the neighborhood, I said, do you think I could bike again someday? Just another five months later, Jack tells me that there's a cancer fundraising ride. It's 18.5 miles. I was able to do that 18.5 mile bike ride with my family. It was so miraculous. Whenever I talk about that moment, I'm always crying. It was miraculous then, and it's miraculous still. Joining us now, we are blessed to have clinical professor of medicine at the University of Iowa and MS researcher, Dr. Terry Walls. Such an honor, Dr. Thank Walls, you. to have you here. And your message is one of hope. It's also seeing you as a doctor in the system, having to go outside the system and be your own health advocate. It's something we talk a lot about on the show, but I wanna ask you about a particular story you shared. You changed your approach to eating and you went from being wheelchair bound in six months to riding your bike. How did yeah. that feel? Like, oh my God, I, you know, I still cry talking about it because it felt so miraculous then because I had given up hope that I would ever be able to bike. And, and I just was taking one day at a time, but now I just ridden my bike, I'm crying, my wife's crying. It, it was a miraculous day.